from Abbotsford, we've tripped over to the heart of horse country in Langley to find out about a special retreat unique in Canada. We're at the Healing Heart Sanctuary, but as you'll see, this is not your typical riding therapy program. Why do you think horses have the power to heal? Because they have that innate ability to understand how we're feeling and so they can tap into the places that often we're not even aware of. As you breathe into your belly, I want you to drop your energy to your feet and relax your legs. The work is empowerment. The work is creating freedom for us. It's to really help the world stop struggling and we're going to do that one human, one individual at a time. And one horse at a time? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Stay with them. and they bring something spectacular to us. Well, we would um, connect energetically, so internally. And as you tune into your breath, is there a message that comes up for you today in terms of where you might want to focus with the horses this morning? I think I'd like to focus on decision making. You okay? Okay, good, yeah. And then we'd go out and we'd work with the horse and I would ask them to choose the horse that they believe is their teacher and healer for the day and it's called mutual choosing. And so often we think we're choosing the horse, but in fact they're choosing us, and we often choose the horse that has the similar issues that we're working with. Okay, any sense of which horse it is for you? I probably would say him. Okay, so Prince? Prince, yeah. great. Well, today Melanie had quite a breakthrough. Can you tell us what that was? Yeah, so she came out here um, anticipating that she was gonna work on decision, and what she ended up working on was self-trust. So what I asked her to do was, um, one of the things that I noticed with her is a very wide berth when she goes behind the horse. And so part of it for her was learning to trust herself in those decisions and how does that feel. That's good. And we're gonna head over there. So tell me what it was that you noticed about yourself that shifted when you got more clear and feeling more confident about moving your body behind his in maybe what might feel vulnerable when you're trying to make a decision. It's, a, it's very similar because I was wavering going, should I, shouldn't I get there? And it was like, yes, just get there and then see what happens. Great. And um, Melanie, when was the last time you stood behind a horse? Um, never. <laughs> <laughs> as a survivor, uh, as I mentioned, um, I have never felt so alive as when I've been around horses, even pre-breast cancer and it's even more meaningful after and I encourage other breast cancer survivors to experience a um, special weekend with the horses because they'll never forget it and their life will never be the same. It must be really amazing for you to be working with people and to be working with the horses. Beautiful, I love it. It's, it's probably the most amazing piece of work that I've ever done. I feel very called and I feel passionate about it.